Hey folks, Vic here with your weekly trade video for uh, Friday, June the 28th, 2024. Uh, as you, most of you know, we use some key pieces of information in our trading. Okay, things like support resistance levels, specific patterns, that kind of thing. One of the challenges with trading is that you can find levels and patterns all over the place, but there's more to the puzzle. So how do you actually put on a trade? Well, we have a very, very specific checklist that is absolutely key for weeding out legitimate high odds trading opportunities. Um, and it's how Darkles has been able to maintain profitability every single year since he became our lead coach back in November of 2017. The following video is actually a bonus video that Darko posted for our members where he walks through the essential elements when you're considering a trading opportunity. It's what he calls a trading circle. If you are not using the approach that Darko lays out or something similar to it, you're almost certainly struggling with your trading. So have a listen. Uh, we'd love to hear some feedback in the comments below the video. Hopefully you find the information uh, in this video helpful. If so, please hit the like button. Give it a thumbs up. You know, that's how we know that our videos are beneficial for our viewers. Okay, here is Darko explaining the trading circle. Hi everyone, Darko here for your bonus video about uh, what you need to master in order to become a stage four trader. So there's a huge misconception about, you know, if I only knew how to draw significant necklines and some people are like experts uh, drawing sig significant neckline, yet they are still blowing their accounts. Same goes for like risk management is the most important. Yeah, sure. It's super important. Uh, but that alone won't take you to stage four trading. So now I will be going through what you need to mo master uh, and every single one of these pieces needs to be perfectly done in order to become stage four trader. And this is why this is so, it's so challenging and hard to become a stage four trader because most people just focus on a couple of these pieces and they think that that's it, okay? And I have also marked them in the order of their importance, okay? So let's start with number one, absolutely the most important thing that you need to master to start with without this number one you will be forever struggling okay so like i said the number tells you which one is most important and you are actually you might be super surprised that risk management risk exposure and trade management is the least important of, of them they are super important but they are number seven and eight not number one and two Okay, so number one, advanced market flow. Okay, when you read charts, the charts is telling you a story. Unless you understand that story, you will it just like never be able to do anything consistently. Okay, so I call it advanced market flow. Uh, some people call it like trend or is like, you know, reading price price reading so advanced market flow is how to read price without any indicators with like naked charts is the market trending to the upside is the market trending to the downside is are we in a ranging mode obviously i won't have time to explain what advanced market flow is you should know that by by, by now but you know, so advanced market flow is the most important thing. You need to understand price, reading charts and chart exercising, like understanding your candles like nobody else in this world. OK, what is price doing? What is the story price is trying to tell you? Super, super important. I cannot emphasize this, you know, strong enough to make you understand that this is it you need to understand what the chart is telling you. Super, super important. The second and most important thing is higher time frame bias. Like there are so many people trading only like watching a, an hourly chart or watching a four hour chart. They're just like maybe they combine a, two time frames or something. Just like the higher time frame is super, super important because if you don't know what the higher time frame is doing. I don't care if you are micro scalping, if you are scalping day trading, okay? If you mark a four hour level, like a, a strong four hour level, well, that four hour level is being impacted by two time frames above. That means the weekly chart. 
So you need to know everything you need to know about your weekly chart, the advanced market flow trend and everything, identifying you know, the price action reading on your weekly chart if you are trading four hours support and resistance. Same goes for the daily. If the daily chart, you are marking daily support and resistance, then you need to go to the monthly chart and see what the monthly chart is doing. So higher time frame bias is super, super important. Okay? And then significant neckline and significant level. That It's the same for support and resistance. Okay? Until today, there are like people is just focusing on some, like there are necklines everywhere. And you need to understand which one of them is significant. Because if you watch any chart, any given chart, there are like hundreds of necklines everywhere. Like how do you know which one is significant? Well, they need to watch the content. Okay? Super important. So significant neckline and significant level is super, super important to understand how to distinguish the good one from the bad one. And, you know, using identical necklines, just like, you know, do, doing things the right way and be an expert on how to find strong levels. And they know they don't grow on trees. OK, so so that's super, super important. And then time frame combination. Geez, like there are people watching the yearly, monthly, weekly, you know, daily, four hour, two hour, hourly. Uh, you know, 15 minute, uh, five minute, one minute tick chart, all like from the lowest time frame to the highest time frame. They just like, they watch everything. And then, you know, hey, you know, the, the monthly is up, the weekly is down, daily is ranging, uh, four hour is also ranging, and the two hour is up, the hourly is down, the 15 minute doing this, and the, you know, five minutes doing this, the one minute is just like, geez, and they, they are confused. No wonder you are confused. Like, there are a certain time frame combinations that is super crucial for you to understand how to combine these time frames. Like, until today, I receive emails from clients that have been with me, like, for six months, and they show me time frame combinations, how they trade, that is completely different from mine. Like, hey, you know, I'm... Uh, I'm uh, day trading and or I'm, I'm doing this and that and they show me a time frame that I don't use and I'm, I'm just telling you like why do you use this time frame combination I've been always doing that like tr since day one well if you have been losing since day one shouldn't you like follow the instruction that I'm giving you to time frame combinations and then once you become a stage four trader for you know once you become a stage four trader then it's obviously up to you to do adjustments that suits you as a person but until then you need to follow the steps that i'm teaching you because if, if you just make everything your own uh, before you become a stage four trader then you are will be forever struggling like stick to the time frame combinations that i'm teaching you like we have very specific time frame combination for every trading style okay super super important don't overwhelm yourself there is enough you know, challenges that you need to consider before, for not getting overwhelmed. So you, you need to reduce the overwhelming factor when you are, you know, doing this properly. So you, you know, put your, your energy into, you know, valid things. Don't overdo it. Okay. Again, and then the next one is pattern. Hey, Darko, uh, is this a valid swing break? Or is this a valid rotation? Yes, it is a valid swing break and it's a valid rotation based on the per the rules for the patterns. And then they take a trade and that trade becomes a losing trade. And then they send me an email. Hey, Darko, I took this pattern that you said it was valid. Can you give me your thinking process why I lost? Well, you ask me if the pattern is valid. You didn't ask me if the trade was valid because the trade is it's not only the pattern, like go ahead and take a, every rotation that is the strongest signal I have ever found in trading for the past 17 years, you will blow your account in no time, okay? You need to understand when and where combining every every eight pieces of this circle, you know, put things in context. Well, that's a different story. The pattern itself, the criteria for the pattern is met, yes, 
it is a rotation. But I, I didn't say it's a valid trade. Uh, so that's like a valid pattern and a valid trade is two different things. Okay. And you need to trust me when I say this. And I'm very surprised that I wouldn't say most clients because no, th there are still clients sending me, hey, Darko, I took this ACAT. Can you, you know, give me uh, some feedback? I'm just like, listen, that's not an ACAT. To start with, I have no idea which pattern you traded, but that's not an ACAT. And obviously, you need to know what ACAT is. And you might think you know what ACAT is and until you send me something. And I say, like, that's not an ACAT. You need to re-listen to the webinar, the ACAT webinar, and watch the PMAs. Because if you identify things, or maybe a swim break, or a rotation, or a set and forget, okay? And they are like, just for set and forgets, swim break rotation, and... Yeah, f f for those uh, swim break rotation and, and set and forgets, there are variations like how they look like. And, and, and you need to, again, to the next uh, piece of circle is trading system. Narrow things down. And, you know, w without the trading system, and you might have like the best trading system in the world, but you identify things wrong. You combine the time frame combination wrong. You do, you mark the significant neckline wrong. You don't watch the higher time frame and you have no idea what advanced market law or, or price action reading is. Well, <laughs> good luck making in trading. I don't care if you be, try the best trading system in the world. Okay. When, when I say narrow things down, like if you trade an ACAT, you should like trade an ACAT in a certain way, like, you know, <clears throat> I only want to trade, you know, an ACAT when within that ACAT I have a swim break rotation or a set and forget. That's just an example. I'm not saying you need to just do that. I'm just giving you an example of what it means to narrow things down. Same, go same goes for like uh, set and forget or the breakout strategy is the same thing. Like I want, you know, the 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 star, you know, price needs to close below that or, or beyond a, a, a level uh, deep enough to use as a natural stop. I'm not accepting wicks. I, I want price to close beyond a certain line. And then I want the breakout leg be, you know, this and that compared to the stop loss or, or, or the significant uh, natural stop size, you know, just like have a certain rules for that specific pattern same goes for rotation and swim breaks and if you don't know what i'm talking about watch my pmas i'm when we have a pending order then my criteria is met then you take screenshots the way i teach you how to journal things you know f take a screenshot of five rotation five uh, swim breaks five a cats etc etc all the content that you need to journal and write down and learn from is online okay so super important to have a trading system that is narrowed down not like as soon as you have like a, a skin you know a very you know iffy uh, candle but it is a bullish candle like if you ask 100 traders they say it's bullish but it just you know it doesn't look it's not the way you want things. Like if you are only trading like engulfing, uh, bullish engulfing or bearish engulfing, or you know these candlestick for formations, those five, pick just one of them. Or if you want to trade ACATs, like have a very specific rule how your ACAT should look like. Narrow things down, super important. And then this is like don't, un just because it's n number seven and eight, Trust me, these are super, super important. Once you, and that's trade management and risk management and risk exposure. So trade management, before you enter any given trade, you need to know where is my entry and why. Why do you enter there? Like people send me emails, like they enter like that. They, they are like chasing price. Hey, I didn't get filled, but I got filled in here. Why did you get filled in there? Because you didn't follow the rules. Entry is entry. You need to know why am I choosing that level, okay? Where do I put my stop loss? You need to know that way before you enter that trade. Where is my entry? Where is my stop loss? Am I using hands-on, hands-off? Am I trailing the stop loss, okay? 
Where is my first target? Where do I, you know, take out the risk and risk reduce? If, if I'm using hands-on or hands-off, where, where's my last target? Am, am, am I trailing uh, that this trade? And answering these, you need to understand price action reading and higher time frame bias. Because without these two, how do you know what to do? Because every single trade is unique, okay? Every single trade is unique, like, one chart doesn't look the exact same thing like the other okay super super important and obviously the last piece of the circle is risk management like some some guy uh, sent me an email hey i, I risk five percent as you teach uh, i have never said risk five it's a zero point five percent okay yeah yeah you know uh, i can take it down to two uh, I don't, you know, just like, no, it's 0 0.5. It's not 2%. It's not 1%. It's not 5%. It's 0.5%. Until you become a stage four trader, then it's up to you, right? Okay. Risk exposure. Like, hey, Darko, I have, uh, you know, uh, three losing trades. That's, that's three full losses. Well, how can it be three full losses when you have the same currency on, on all three of them? If you trade, you know, uh, Kiwi Yen, Kiwi Dollar, Kiwi Swissy, all of them have Kiwi in it. And that goes for the every other pairs as well. When you have the same pair on all your, like if you have four pending orders or three pending orders, and all of them have the same currency in it, you cannot trade 0.5% on every single one of them. Like if you have four trades with any given pair in it, okay, the same pair in it, that's that's like, it, it is 2%, okay? So that now you risk like 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5, and then again 0 0.5, that's like 2%, okay? So no, you split the risk divided by the amount of pending orders you have with the same currency, okay? And you might say, but Darko, that's like I'm, I'm trading pennies. Like that, it's nothing left. Well, that's how you should do it. Then, if if your trading account is too small for doing this, that's your problem, not mine. Because you still need to follow the rules. Don't take four of them. Take two of them. Then you split 0 0.5 divided by two. That means you are risking 0 0.25 okay because it's super it's like there is no other way around it like if your account size is too small well don't trade uh, save some money uh, trade some nano lots that's like trading pennies you need to do things properly so that's the thing so and until you master i don't care if you're an expert on only reading price but your pattern, time frame combination, significant neckline, trading system, entry, uh, t uh, trade management and risk management and risk exposure doesn't work. I don't care how good you are at, re at reading price. Uh, you will never make it. Same goes for higher time frame. You could be the best higher time frame reader, but you know some of these pieces doesn't work. It won't work for you. So every single one of these pieces needs to be 100%. Once you get 100% of all eight of them, then you are taking yourself into stage four of trading, okay? And the reason why it takes time is because people are focusing on just pattern or just significant neckline. Hey, show, show me some levels. Well, I, I, I can show you 3000 levels. That's not a problem. I can also show you time from combination. That's not a problem. I can show you a rotation. I, I can teach you rotation in five minutes. Like I could grab anyone on street and teach them, let, let's just say 15 minutes to show them exactly what a rotation is. Let's just say 30 minutes. Let's just say one hour. Okay, let's just say like one day. <laughs> it doesn't take more than 30 minutes, maybe max one hour to someone that never seen a chart to teach them what a rotation is. If that's the case, why does it take you like five, 10 years, three years, four years, two years to become a stage four trader if you ever make it there? So if it takes me one hour and I'm exaggerating, I, I can teach it to you by 10 minutes. 
why are you still struggling? Why? Okay? If you know how to find significant necklines, which I can teach you within 30 minutes, why are you still struggling? Okay? Trading system, have a game plan. Like, narrow things down. Why are you, like, all over the place? Trading, like, everything. That's, like, fear of missing out. The problem with fear of missing out, it, you end up missing everything. Okay? I'd rather have, like, two trades a month and they are winners than having, like, 50 trades a month and have a heart attack and be on a red side by the end of each month and I'm stressed to death. Okay? That's it, traders. So make sure that you master every single one of these. Don't isolate any of the pieces and think that you will make it because that's not the case. Every single one of the, these pieces needs to be perfect. And this is where the PMAs comes in. Okay? So you need to watch the PMAs. Write down your own game plan. How to identify reading price. Higher time frame bias. Significant neckline. Significant levels. Stiff. You know, stick to my time frame combinations, my patterns that I'm teaching you, narrow things down the way I show you from time to time on the PMAs. Super important where to enter, stop loss, TP1, TP2, trailing, hands on, hands off, risk management and risk exposure. All of these are super, super important. That's it. Thank you so much for listening and I, ho I hope that you enjoy this video and I will talk to you soon. Cheers. So let me tell you this. Very, very few people have anything that resembles a trading circle. Okay, and guess what? Very few people are consistently profitable. But by putting this simple but very effective trading circle into action, you're, I mean, you are massively moving the odds in your favor. So I really do hope that you've uh, you know, found this video useful. So once again, uh, just reach out to me if you have any questions. I'd be happy to help out. And if you need any information about joining our services, there's a link in the text below this video or in the email that you received. Thanks so much, everyone. Hope you all have a fantastic weekend and trading week ahead. Take care.